Hello, welcome to Benjamin Tree. Today we're going to learn how to find the next Sunday. In our previous lesson, we figured out how to find this previous Sunday, but now we're going to reverse that. So for today's exercise, we're going to be practicing with the date of this recording of July 12th, 2016. So just real quick, we want to know what weekday this is that I'm doing the recording. So we're going to type in this box here at A11. We're going to set to equal to weekday and then we're just going to put in the, the cell number A2 which is the date we're working with. The number that's returned is a 3 and 3 represents a Tuesday in the standard weekday formula. So let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to break this equation down into multiple points instead of just having the big equation all the way from the beginning because that's going to get a little confusing. So we have here days to find. So remember in our green box, 1 represents Sunday, 2 represents Monday, 3 represents Tuesday, and so on. So we want to figure out which, where do we need to move in order to get to that day. So let's start with Sunday. We're going to start with the, the part of the formula that's going to say B2. It's going to equal to B2 minus weekday of a2. So we're going to take this number, 1, that represents Sunday, and subtract it from the day of weekday A2, which is the weekday that July 12, 2016 represents, is a 3. So we're going to subtract that. So what we're getting right now, it's in date form, but it's turned it to general. It says negative 2. Okay, so right now it's Tuesday. In order to get to Sunday, we need to go back two spaces. To go three to one is a minus two. Okay, that's the closest Sunday. Okay, you might be thinking ahead, but we want to go forward, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So one more time, let's look at it. This is equal to B3, so the two, which represents a Monday, minus the weekday of A3, okay, which is a three to represent the current day, which is a uh, Tuesday, we get uh, a little bit of an error here, but we change it to general number and it gets minus 1. So we're currently on Tuesday. In order to get to the closest Monday, we need to move back one day. Okay, if we stretch this formula out, okay, as you can see, to get to a Tuesday, we need to move zero days. To get to a Wednesday, we need to move one day forward. To get to a Thursday, we need to move two days forward, and so on. Okay, but now we have to decide, okay, so we know how to move to the closest date, to the closest day using that, this simple uh, formula, but now we want to say, do we need to move ahead a week or do we stay where we're at? Okay, so we're going to do a small little formula here. That's going to be B2 is less than weekday of A2. Okay, so we get a true. So remember, all of these here, this is the weekday of 3. Okay, so the day that we want to find, which is 1, is less than the day that we're on, we're going to have a true. Okay, let's do this one more time. B3 is less than weekday of A3. Okay, so as you can see, if we do that, we're going to come down and we're going to have all of these things, true, true, false. But I'm going to change this up a little bit. I'm going to say B2 is less than or equal to the weekday of A2. And one more time, B3 is less than or equal to the weekday of A3 because right now we're getting the Tuesday. We have days to move, but we want to move forward one day. So let's take a look here. I'm going to change this over to true, and you'll see in a second why I want to do that. Okay, so what happens is this is a true-false here. Okay, if B2 is less than the week, the day of the week for our date, we get a true. Okay, and what that says is that says it's true. And if it's not less than the weekday that we're on, it gives us a false. But this true-false is like binary code. True represents a 1, false equals a 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the true or the false and multiply it by 7. So if I take true times 7, it gets 7. So one more time, true times 7 gives me 7. Okay, 
So what we do here, if we get false times 7, that's a 0. So it's kind of thinking 1 times 7 equals 7, 0 times 7 equals 0. So the idea here is we have this first part of the equation says, do, how do we move to the closest day that we're targeting? And then this part says, well, if it's behind or we're on that day, because we don't want to find the Tuesday we're already on, we want to find the next Tuesday. If we're already on that day or we have to go backwards, we need to move forward one week. So this here, by doing a true false, about whether we're moving forward or backwards and then multiplying it by 7 tells us do we need to move forward by 7 or do we just stay where we are. So let's put this all together. So we're going to start off with a giant formula and we're going to put all these pieces together. So we're going to start off with A2. So we're going to start off with this date and then we're going to add the difference. We don't need this parentheses but I think it makes it a little bit easier to understand. B2 minus weekday of A2. Okay, so remember B2 minus the weekday of A2, that is equal to negative 2. So what we're doing is we're taking the date of A2, July 12, 2016, and this B2 minus weekday A2 says to get to the Sunday, because we're trying to find a Sunday here with this number 1, move back two days. Okay, so that's good. But the next thing we want to do is do we need to move forward seven days or do we stay where we are? So that's going to be equal, so that's going to be this part. We're going to far, find our true or false statement. B2 is equal to or less than or equal to weekday of A2. Okay, so remember, if we're moving backwards, if our day here that we're trying to find is less than the day of the week that we're already at, we get a true. And if it's true, we're going to multiply it by 7, so that way we're moving seven days forward. So again, A2 is then we're going to move forward or backwards to the closest day that we're targeting, and then we're going to add seven if we have to move backwards or stay where we are. Okay, oh, I need one little more there. Let me double check this here. Oops, I have a small little thing here just to fix. It should be no big deal, but it just makes it look a little bit better. All right, so Let's try this equation one more time. We're going to start with A3. This is our date. And we're going to add the difference between B3, our target date, 2, which is a Monday, minus weekday of A3, minus what day of the week we're already on. So this is going to move us back 1 to get to this Monday. We're on a Tuesday now. It's going to move us back 1. Then we're going to add whether or not we need to move forward a week. So we're going to have B3 is less than or equal to weekday of A3. Okay, so B3 is less than or equal to A3, the weekday of A3. Then we need to move it forward by 7. So we multiply it by 7 because that will come out as true. True times 7 is 7. And if it's false, it comes out as 0. False, 0 times 7 is 7. Okay, so then we get this date. Okay, so we have... July 12th, the next Sunday is July 17th. Okay, the next Monday is July 18th. Okay, let's stretch this out here and we get all of these equations. So we're on July 12th, which is a Tuesday. We want to find the next Tuesday as July 19th. We're on July 12th and it's a Tuesday. And we want to find the next Wednesday. That's just tomorrow, July 13th. And so now you can see this pattern of how this is put together. Okay, so we've learned about how to create a formula that will find the next day in a, from our given date. So we want to find the next Sunday, the next Thursday. Okay, so we're going to put that into a bigger complex idea uh, next class. Okay, but until then, you can go ahead and practice. So here in this column of B, I want you to find the first Sunday of the year for these dates. So the first Sunday of 2005 to 2020. Just keep in mind this is the first Sunday of the year, not the first Sunday after January 1st. So sometimes that doesn't matter, but other times it is going to matter. Well, thank you for using Benjamin Tree today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on our YouTube channel, our blog, or on our Facebook page. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.